Hello YouTube family, whether you live in California or you are coming for a visit, I thought I'd share with you a few of my favorite campgrounds for a quick getaway. These are not listed in any order of importance, however they are my top 5 go-to campgrounds. For more details on each one, be sure to click the corresponding links. Enjoy your trip to these beautiful places and let me know if you have any specific questions regarding any of these campgrounds. I'll do my best to answer them. In the meantime, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and becoming part of my traveling community. Now on to number one. Serrano Campground at Big Bear Lake. Serrano Campground is a beautiful place for campers to come and enjoy Big Bear Lake. It is a scenic and fairly modern campground that provides access to a variety of outdoor recreational opportunities. The campground offers more than 100 sites for tent and RV camping. A couple dozen sites provide full utility hookups for RVs and there is a dump station with a $10 fee and it's located within the campground. Each site is equipped with tables and campfire rings with grills. Firewood is available for purchase. Accessible flush toilets, showers, and drinking water are provided. There is street parking available outside of the campground. The campground is located in the San Bernardino Mountains within walking distance of the lake. Accessed by the Rim of the World Scenic Byway, the campground is situated in a mountainous pine forest setting. Sagebrush grows alongside the paved roads. Visitors enjoy access to a number of hiking and mountain biking trails found within a short distance of the campground. The Alpine Pedal Path and the Cougar Crest Trail are nearby and provide access to the Pacific Crest Trail. The Big Bear Ranger Station is within a mile of the campground. Rangers can provide maps of the area and answer any questions about trails. Fishing and boating at Big Bear Lake are popular activities. The campground does not provide direct access to the lake but a boat ramp is available about a mile away. Evening Star has beautiful wooded campsites if you don't need any hookups, but for those wishing full hookups, Snowberry Loop is the place to book and try to get my favorite site, number 57. Next on my list is Camp Edison at Shaver Lake. In a pine forest on the western shores of Shaver Lake, California, it's been a favorite vacation spot 252 campsites are available to the public and they include electricity. This campground is open year-round. From hiking and horseback riding to fishing and water sports, there's plenty to do in the Camp Edison area. Camp Edison at Shaver Lake is in the Sierra National Forest and it's one of the most popular campgrounds in California. Popular activities include fishing, water skiing, wakeboarding, swimming, hiking, kayaking, and picnicking. Most campsites are set a short distance back from the lake, but a few, such as those on the Elderberry Loop, are close to the water. Some sites have lake views, while a large number rest in a mature conifer forest. All campsites have electric connections. Full hookup sites also have water and sewer connections. If you can get site number 233, 236, 237 in Dogwood Loop, these are some of my favorites as they are wooded but also offer views of the lake. For a full hookup, you'll want to book in the Manzanita Loop. Changing scenery, we now head into the desert area of Anza Borrego State Park. With over 600,000 acres, Anza Borrego Desert State Park is the largest state park in the contiguous United States. 500 miles of dirt roads, 12 wilderness areas, and miles of hiking trails provide visitors with an unparalleled opportunity to experience the wonders of the Colorado Desert. The park is named after Spanish explorer Juan Bastista de Anza and the Spanish name Borrego or Bighorn Sheep. The park features washes, wildflowers, palm groves, cacti, and sweeping vistas. Visitors may also have the chance to see roadrunner, golden eagles, kit foxes, mule deer, and bighorn sheep as well as iguanas, chuckwallas, and the red diamond rattlesnake. Numerous roads will take you into this vast park. Consult a map before making travel plans to be sure you enter the desired part of the park. The highways from the east climb 2,400 feet or so and then descend about 2,000 feet to the valley. Where the highway breaks out of the high country vegetation, it reveals the great bowl of the Anzer Borrego Desert. The valley spreads below and there are mountains all around. The highest are to the north, the Santa Rosa Mountains. Borrego Palm Canyon sites 1 to 52 offer full hookup and the price is really reasonable. There are all pull-through sites 
long enough for Big Rig and offer picnic tables, fire pits, and paved sites. The visitor center is within walking distance of the campground, as well as Palm Canyon Trail, which leaves the campground and takes you right up into the canyon for a must-do and see hike. Stay in this area at the right time of year and you'll be able to catch the desert flowers in a super bloom. There's nothing quite so beautiful. Any of these sites are great, but try to nab site number 50 or 51. They're the best. From the desert, we head to the ocean and we find ourselves at San Clemente State Beach Campground. San Clemente State Beach is popular with surfers on the north end of the One Mile Beach as well as hikers along the trails on the bluffs. The beach has a landscape bluff top with picnic areas. Trails lead down to the beach, which is popular for body surfing, swimming, and skin diving. Sites 1 to 72 offer full hookup and are pull through. If you book sites 57 to 71, you'll likely get a great sunset and ocean view from your patio side. Walk or bike to explore the local area with many amenities such as Costco within a few miles. Walk right from your campsite down to the beach and spend the day soaking in the warm sun and sand. If you don't need full hookups, then for sure book sites 88 or 89, which sit right on the bluff with unobstructed views of the ocean. Last but not least is a campground where just steps from your camper you'll find your toes in the sand, Emma Woods State Beach. Moderate ocean temperatures at Emma Woods State Beach makes this area a great place for swimming, surfing, and fishing. A freshwater marsh at the southwest end of the beach attract raccoons, songbirds, and red-tailed hawks. The beach also features the crumbling ruins of a World War II coastal artillery site. There is a grassy area for groups, and a campground for hikers and bikers. The beach offers a view of Anacapa Island. You can even take a boat there. Be on the lookout for dolphins right out of your RV windows. All of these sites here are steps to the beach with oceanfront views. Enjoy your campfire right from your campsite with the sun setting over the ocean and the surround sound of the waves crashing just footsteps away. Take the paved bike trail into Ventura, grab some fish tacos at the pier, Shop, eat, and ride back to your campsite for an awesome family outing. Explore the surrounding areas such as the quaint town of Ojai, or take your bike for a 13-mile ride on the paved Rincon Bike Trail. The campground does not offer any hookups, and if you can, grab the best site, which is number 90, or grab any of the ones above number 76. Have you stayed at any of these campgrounds? If so, I'd love to hear about it. I'd also like to know what campground is your favorite and where it's located, because I'll likely want to check it out. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you in the next video.